Um, my name is Tetrali, and I'm here joined with uh, Pranzo on commentary. Hey, good evening, everyone. Happy to be here. Yeah, and I'm going to be doing some uh, Zelda, specifically a reverse boss order run. This is a uh, run that's on the Z1 category extensions leaderboard and involves uh, I'm actually using a game genie with a cheat code or cheat code to um, enter level nine early. And I'm going to be going after I kill Ganon, defeating all eight of the other bosses in reverse order. So it's a very cool run. Um, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I see some folks from Pranzo's community here. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right. Three, two, one, go. So I'm going to be starting off by picking up a sword. This is uh, pretty typical. And I'm going to be doing a trick to scroll across the screen in order to fast travel. Do you want to explain how that works, Pranzo? Sure. So uh, whenever Tetra lines link up exactly five pixels from the edge of the screen, she could tap up or down for exactly one frame in a perpendicular direction. And the link, you'll see he does a little turnaround. And as long as he's on the right spot, she'll be able to pass right through the screen. So that's what uh, some of the wizardry you're going to see right here as she uh, cheats her way over to level three quickly. Hey, this is... Sorry, sorry. Hey, this is fuzzy logic. There's all sorts of um, glitches <laughs> and fun stuff involved. I think I'm going to take a cue from your book and uh, do the Zol key here. There's a bunch of different keys you can get... Uh, and Pranz has been doing that in some of uh, his runs recently. Oops. Cool, and yeah, just as a reminder, um, as you know, this is reverse boss order, um, Tetrally will be going into 9 early to fight Ganon, and, and what she's going to be kind of working on before we actually get to 9 is getting some of the key items and resources we need to actually uh, get to Ganon. So right now what she is working on is working on getting the Raft, which is level 3, and then um, we'll kind of take it from there as she progresses. And an important thing also is to manage bombs. Because we're not going to have the magical sword that you normally would in the later levels, like level 9, uh, being able to deal damage with bombs is really important. So that was a lucky drop I got right there. That's a good one. Oops. That was not a well-placed bomb. Where was that one? Okay. Nice. Got, got some lucky, lucky bombs. Though. Let's get lucky. <laughs> Let's get lucky. So, um, yeah, when it comes to uh, bomb drops, I'm sure you've probably, if you've ever seen a Zelda 1 run, uh, you've probably seen us confusedly count out numbers out loud as we try to figure out what count we're on. <laughs> and uh, kind of the reason for that is because um, there are two main counts in this in this game. One being the, the main one that a lot of people, are, or at least the one that Tetra is counting out right now, is usually the consecutive one, where um, if you remember in this game, there was that cryptic message of the 10th enemy holds a secret. And what that kind of means in maybe a poor translation was that if you kill 10 enemies in a row, you could either force a rupee if you stab it, a five rupee, excuse me, or a bomb if you bomb it. So uh, counts are very important to keep in this game, um, especially in this category. Her count is zero now. Her count is zero now. So <laughs> <laughs> we are good now. Um, so what she's, what Tetra's doing right now, she's <laughs> gathering, some, <laughs> gathering some money right now just to get the uh, candle, which will be kind of a required item to get the run started as well. Two. Three. There's a reason why I'm doing this, though. <laughs> As we mentioned, we kind of joke, if you ever watch a Z1 runner, it's you're just constantly seeing them just spit out, count out numbers out loud. Or at least that's what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Tetra does as well. So um, We're not that confused. We're just trying to figure out how we can get some more items out, this, out of the... Uh, Four. <laughs> Four is my count. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> So Tetra's entering level four right now. Um, she's mainly going into four. So we went into three first to get the raft, and that's needed to get to four, which helps us get the ladder, which you need to kind of cross um, the, the lava, I guess, that's in level nine. So she's just we're just dipping in real quick just to get the ladder, and then um, she will progress on towards the next item. By the way, that was an invisible block that I clipped through. 
Nice. So right there we see Tetra successfully forcing a bomb, keeping that 10 count, so <laughs> congrats on that. Yep. And then I'm going to take a hit from this bubble just to reset my count back down to zero. And what I normally do here is bomb the first one and then kill each of these, which counts as eight, if they would actually cooperate, that is. There we go. There we go. So that sets me up with nine, and then knock that one. Ugh. And this usually happens. You wind up uh, ruining it by making a silly mistake or something, but that's all right. So Z1 runners refer to this room as the breakfast room because what do you get for breakfast? You get pancakes and syrup. That's what Tetra's dealing with right now. So um, one other random note too, if uh, and the eggs and toast, obviously, and the eggs. And <laughs> if a room has a name in Z1, that's probably a bad sign. No, <laughs> it's probably an important room. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, a pretty actually crucial one. It's a very easy one to potentially lose or gain time in. So Tetra did successfully get the ladder though. So let's get out of here. Yeah. What I'm going to do is actually warp all the way back to the start screen, and I'm going to be taking a little bit of an odd route through uh, Eastern Hyrule, and pick up some money and heart containers and a posh, or potion. And uh, one thing to just probably note as well, you might have seen um, the menu kind of pop up that said continue, save, or retry. Uh, if, you're, if you're not familiar with uh, some of these older NES games, if Tetra pauses on the first controller and pushes up A on the second, um, it will bring up that menu. And that can use be used to your advantage in terms of um, essentially death warping you to different places, whether it be to the start of a dungeon or to the start of the overworld. Yep, exactly. And in the main category, Death warps and up and aing, as we sometimes call it, isn't allowed. But in this category, we make frequent use of it to save on time. And let's see if I can get some lucky bombs here. There we go. There we go. Bomb hype. Bomb hype. So if we want to talk about globals a little bit, we don't have to get too deep into it. But... Nah, probably not. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> There's enough they... uh, counts in this game already, don't you think? Yeah, that's true. There's just, uh, yeah, just another set of counts that determines just random kind of drops, but yeah, we, we don't need to get that deep. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, too many numbers in this game. That's too many numbers. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, generally when you do a reverse boss or dungeon order run, uh, the first part of it is just gathering lots of resources, and then going into the last level, doing the final boss, and then start counting back from there. So the next thing on my list is going to be to get a couple more rupees. I think I'm going to get uh, this 30 secret just one screen to the west by scrolling through the mountain. And then we're going to pick up the white sword from uh, Lionel Richie, as we sometimes call him in the community. <laughs> Uh, there are some uh, more advanced routes for this category where you actually go and grab the recorder from level 5 right now. The thing with that is that since I'm relatively unpowered, it's going to be tricky. It's, it's definitely a risky thing to do because as any Z1 runner knows, uh, even in the best of circumstances, the Olive Garden where you get the recorder is uh, a little bit of a dangerous place to go and a lot of runs die there. Yeah, and especially because the rec the recorder isn't necessarily required for what Tetra's trying to do right now, so it's it's almost uh, it's a safer and smarter play to kind of defer it a little bit to once you get the ring. Because um, again, yeah, if if you haven't seen a Z1 speed run, level five is a notorious run killer, as Tetra alluded to. There are just oodles of blue dark nuts waiting to uh, stop you from getting the recorder. So <laughs> it's uh it's not an easy level by any means. Yep, exactly. So yeah, just a couple more things. I think uh, Tetra's going to be stocking up on an extra heart just for a little insurance. And then there is also, let's see, um, going to get the bow. I think that's the last item that would be kind of needed at this point um, before we can get into level 9. We need the bow to uh, kill Ganon successfully, so. 
Yep, exactly. Uh, you don't need to buy arrows like you otherwise might, or wooden arrows, mainly because you're going to be getting uh, the silver ones in level 9, so you don't even need to get the uh, level 1 version at all. That's the beauty of this route. We're saving 80 rupees right off the bat. We don't need to buy arrows. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm also going to be exiting and re-entering the level. Um, that's intentional because it unlocks the door uh, just to the north of this room. Uh, it's a little bit of a glitch. That's called the uh, the pirouette in the Z Z1 community. Yeah, because you sort of go in and then back out, I guess. <laughs> I think a pirouette a is a dance move. Yep. Yep. Um, but since you need to, the normal key routing doesn't work here, you're going to be picking up a bunch of uh, extra keys in order to be able to make it through. Uh, okay. But yeah, like you said, having bombs is really key as we go into level 9. Yeah, so level 9 will be... Um... A little tricky on a couple fronts. One, there's, um, you know, if you were to play the, the game in traditional order, you'd probably have a lot more than six hearts that, <laughs> if you were to get to level nine. Um, so that's kind of strike one. But then two, you'd probably, at least hopefully, have the magical sword. So uh, Tetra really will be going in a little underpowered, so to speak. So um, it's it's definitely going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I don't doubt that Tetra will do a great job. Yes, I will do my best. Uh, so, for the next little bit, getting to the red ring in level 9 is actually really tricky. So, I'm going to be focusing on this pretty uh, carefully here, and mm -hmm. we'll leave it up to Pronzo to commentate more. Are you sure you want to do that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, as we mentioned, you know, it's it's not an easy feat getting the red ring in 9. You have to get through a couple very precarious rooms, and again, we're only really dealing with... Well, she, Tetra actually only has three hearts at the moment, but um, she does have two potions. So um, the thing that's a little scary, though, is like the blue lionel, for example, the little um, horsey looking thing, I guess, I don't know what to call it, um, can do two hearts of damage. Um, a red Wizro beam can do four. So um, it's it's very, it's a very precarious level to do this, uh, or doing level nine at this level. So um, first things first, she's going to get through this room. Pretty straightforward. It's similar to the breakfast room. Um, there's a room key also, which is why she's uh, clearing it out. Those bubbles are the worst. Mm -hmm. Bumble bubbles are some of the most annoying yet underrated enemies in this game. They could they could really really mess up some runs, um, even though they'd cause no damage. Yeah. And so what Tetra is going to be doing here, it's similar. To, it's this very similar premise to the screen scrolling, where you just have to line up on a very specific spot and uh, tap right or left for. Uh, a frame, and then she'll be able to clip right through the block. So very same mechanic or premise. Again, just some more pancakes. We're serving some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a uh, all-day breakfast here at uh, Z1. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast is always served. Um, so yeah, this is where things are getting a little bit more serious. So um, get get some blessings or good lucks out for Tetra if you have them. any emotes. Um, She's going to have to navigate her way through a couple of Wizrobe rooms as well as uh, Patra's, which is this um, lovely, I guess, insect monster that we have here. So that's good. She's a uh, of bees, I guess. Bees. <laughs> Not bees. Bees. All right. And there's going to be another Patra, but she has to bomb north here. So this is a little tricky. Um, maybe if she gets fortunate, Patra will move left or right or out of the way. This let's see. Might be cooperating. Might. Ooh, okay. okay. We'll wait okay. another cycle. And it's similarly here. Okay, okay very okay, actually okay, very so good. So that good. works. Let's go. Okay, going to be another using scary room. Rats here. <laughs> Not super easy to get through. Again, we are okay. very underpowered here. So as long as oh look at that pause buffering. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Okay. And the last scary room. Oh, nice. Oops, I got gritted there. So a she's got to clip in very quickly here. Nice. Nice. Okay. No damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the scary thing that could happen is that when you're trying to clip, there's wed, red whizwobes, wed whizwobes that could spawn right in front of you as you're trying to do it. So that was very well executed and a little stroke of luck there too. So okay. that was excellent, Tetra. I'm breathing some now. <laughs> and so now that takes off a huge stress actually because yeah, really. the, the red ring essentially quadruples your life. Um, you take a quarter of the damage. So even though she has two hearts showing, she effectively has eight right now. 
Um, which is still a little low, but she has potions, so... Yes, I do. Just uh, don't forget to use them. <laughs> That's all I ask. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very easy to when you get wrapped up. I am all right, going so now... to... Ooh. Oh, you're gonna get... So there is a bomb here if you clear the room. All right, so taking a little damage. It'll be safe. Yep, going for the potion. Yeah, no, it's oh. okay. I, I knew I had uh, two hits left. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I appreciate the aggressive play. Um, oh, I got Patron Rage, though. That's not good. I got a bad pattern, though. That's okay. just bad luck. Let's get out of Patra's way. Ah. Yeah, that's so, unfortunate. She doesn't technically have to clear this, but there is a free room bomb if she clears it. So that's why uh, playing it safe. This is the good call, because yeah. as uh, I think we kind of learned earlier when, when we were messing around with this category today, um, you want bombs for one of the rooms coming up. So. You really do. So that play a little bit safer, but um, it should pay dividends in the long run. Okay. All right, this room. Again, always ropes. Oops, um, always ropes. Affectionately known as the next room due to the cryptic hint we got from the gentleman next door. Uh, notice that I'm staying on the half tiles. Mm -hmm. You can explain why that's better. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, the beam hitboxes um, will not hit you if you're on the half tile. And plus, um, a lot of times they just won't even fire. So, well done, Tetra. Um, one of the scarier rooms. Again, it's 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 a little scarier more so just because the sword situation. Normally you'd have mat uh, the magical sword, which... A red one would be one stab, a blue would be two, which it's tough, but, you know, it's more tolerable, but it's double, essentially, now, so that's why it was a little bit, a little scarier, but yep. Tetra handled it excellently. Okay. Next, another... I think I'm going to try to take this one out as well. You don't actually have to kill this one, but it saves on damage and... Mm -hmm. Clipping, I, I seem to always have bad luck clipping into this diamond with Patra still alive, so. And yeah, nice, get a heart too. Yeah. And yes. so that'll save her all the way back out too. So uh, basically, Tetra's making her way to um, the, the Silver Arrows right now, and she's going to be encountering another notorious room called uh, the Reverse Sea, oh, as you can base, see it based on the tile layout. <laughs> so again, this is a, a room that is very tricky, potentially in oh, any percent with. That was lucky. On nice. Track. Okay, can we come together a little bit, please? Thank you. Nice. Oh, this is working out. This is working great. Come back here. Oh, this is working so much better than it did in practice. <laughs> oh, no, come back. Of course, it's, it's okay. always the last one that's it's okay. It's okay, though. <laughs> Um, so again, the, the, the room is just a little scary, more so just because the sword is underpowered, but luckily Tetra handled, Tetra Lee handled that well. Yep. Still has a lot of health. Got the silver arrows. And now, we're gonna go see Ganon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like everything in 2020, I say as long as you have your health, you're usually doing fairly well, so. <laughs> um, let's try the reverse clip. Oops, did not get that the first try. <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice. There you go. So uh, the reason why Tetra, Tetra Lee was trying to do that clip was if um, she didn't, she would have to clear that room, which is just a lot of combat and time that's um, not necessary. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go. We, we've got, oh dear, a pig to take care of. <laughs> and I do have a backup potion, so it's not the end of the world that I'm down to two hearts. All right, so another whisper room that unfortunately you do have to clear and deal with, so. Ooh, that red beam will make me do my potion here. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, everything's great. Everything's fine here. How are everything's you? Everything's fine. You're doing great. Ah. Love to get my beams back, but not gonna stress about it too, too much yet. So depending, oh, it's a little bad luck with the patterns there. Uh, if the wizard robes don't spawn in that path, you can just walk straight through. But uh, because they were, she had to take a bot from the trap. Not too yeah, we're basically. Oh, and I guess uh, let me get out my silver arrows. 
basically at the home stretch, there's going to be one more Patro to fight, and then Ganon will be there, so. Yep, just one more bit of serious time to focus on this. Everybody loves a left patch, right? I know, I was like, no, why did you go left? <laughs> so, yeah, the, uh, oh, heart is good, though, heart is good. Alright, here's... Ganon. <laughs> Alright. So... Oops. Okay, that's sort of a stun lock. One more! One more! You got there it! You nice! Go. <laughs> GG's. Kind of. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So nice. And now we're done with the game, so we're just going to rescue the princess. Wait, now. wait, hold no. on, hold on. No, no. <laughs> I'm supposed no. to do that. Calm down. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. At least not yet. But um, yeah, definitely big kudos to Tetra for getting through. Uh, you know, I, I I was messing around with this category a little bit as well, as she had mentioned. And the start of this run is not easy, and she got through it flawlessly, so... Uh, definitely give her some GGs and kudos because um, that nine is scary in this category. Nine is scary. <laughs> that is very true. Now... Yeah, GG, but backwards. Thank you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a backwards of GG? <laughs> sure. It's, uh, oh, dear. Sure, G we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. We just kind of, uh, unfortunately, we just, just left Zelda there, but she's fine. She's okay. okay. She's... She could take care of herself. <laughs> so I am going to be looking for some bombs here. Mm -hmm. And there's one pack. So I'm taking a little bit of a detour uh, so that I can purchase some bombs. Unless, by chance, these folks cooperate. Yes. There and, is and a Chad faster did... way to get there, but I'm going for marathon safe strats. So. And chat did correct us. It's each each would be a <laughs> GG backwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. And uh, so, yeah, now Tetra will be making her way. Now we're just going backwards in order now. So um, level eight is another challenging level. So this might require a bit of focus uh, from Tetra. Um, as you kind of know, blue dark nuts are probably the worst enemy in this game, and she's got to get through two rooms of them. So Yeah, we call these the blue lagoon. And why do we call it the blue lagoons, Pronto? Because it's blue and it's laggy? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, um, in normal if circumstances, if you had the, in any percent, you would have the Magical Sword, which would take two Stored Sabs. Um, with the White Sword, it's either four Sword Stabs or a combination of one bomb, two stabs, or two bombs. So you could kind of take your pick. But the... Uh, Com this room is already challenging as is, but oh, nice fairy. Um, but even more so <laughs> with these restrictions and items that we have right now. But Tetra's doing a great job. Yeah. Got the full health too from that fairy. I was fortunate. These uh, dark nuts technically can drop hearts and fairies, um, and she's getting them, which is very helpful. Yep. What's great about having the ring is that when you pick up a heart, you're effectively picking up four hearts, mm -hmm. even though they only deal the same amount of damage. Oop. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got two of them there. That's good. Yeah, so um, like Tetra was saying, you know, she's got six hearts right now, which doesn't look like much, but with the red ring, it's effectively 24. Um, yep. and, she, and she's getting good drops too, which is absolutely helping. So yeah, it, it looks a little crazy, but uh, she's, she's she's feeling cool and calm and collected, I, I don't doubt. Well, sort of. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I will not distract you. That's okay. We're doing it, right? Yeah, just one more. You got it. Okay. Nice and easy. There you go. Whew. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the level. The last uh, main kind of obstacle she's got to deal with is um, our dragon friend, Gliok, who's a, in this particular version or level, will be a three-headed dragon. Is it three-headed or four? Actually, no. <laughs> it's funny. I should know uh, this. Four. It's four. Yeah, it's, it's sad how I played this game for years and I don't remember. And so for this fight with the white sword, the first head will take five hits to knock off, and the each successive one takes three, so not too bad. You can see she's just kind of plowing through it. Easy peasy. 
Easy game. Okay, and then for this one, I actually am going to pick up the Triforce. Uh, the rules for this category state that you just have to kill the boss, um, judged by when the uh, uh, heart container drops. However, I intentionally pick up the Triforce there because that lets me warp back to the level with when I pick up the recorder coming up. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to be picking up the prime meat, or prime rib. What, what does GSR call this? <laughs> I think he calls it the prime. Yeah, yeah, prime meat. It's very expensive. Tetra flaunting her wealth and spending an extra 20 rupees on the meat. That's not necessary. But... <laughs> well, more like I just want to um, uh, not have to route my way all the way over to the mall. We're paying for convenience, folks. Yeah, nobody really wants to go near a mall in December, right? Exactly. Yep. exactly. I'm going to pick up another potion just for safety in case I need I don't think I'm going to need this. But, um... <laughs> I was like, don't, commentator, don't commentators curse yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I can do that. Okay, now we're going to do a little... Oops. I think that's the right pixel. Scroll. Nope. Let's try this again. There we go. So right now she is entering level five. Uh, she's not gonna. She's not entering it with the intent of clearing it. Uh, I don't believe right now, but it's just nope. more to get the recorder because we need that to get into level seven. So um, again, this is uh, more dark nuts coming up. If, if you're a fan of them, <laughs> we've got more. So yeah, Tetra might be a little focused right now. So um, yeah, she's. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, that was bomb drop. Uh, this um, one I want to yoink. Oh, well, I was trying to yoink it. Uh, that was my force five right there. Mm. Oops. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. What are these folks doing? My gosh. <laughs> okay. Let's try going. You got uh, it. You got seven o'clock strats. <laughs> And so, yeah, Tetra Lee will be entering a room uh, filled with six blue dark nuts again. We just can't, like I said, we can't get away with them, but they are guarding the recorder with their lives. So Tetra will now do a little dance with the dark nuts and see what happens. Okay, great first bomb. Nice. Again, trying to mix in some bombs just because it will be a bit more efficient. Uh, they do more damage than the white swords, so she's trying to use some while she can. Yeah. Nice. I have my beams and luckily normally this is uh, bad news if you're going into level 7 without bombs but fortunately with the silver arrows we have a couple of uh, fun backups for it so it's not that big of a deal mm -hmm. yeah. nice got him you... it was damageless I believe right I don't think you took a hit uh, no I did because I oh you did I... wait no. did you I don't well oh, whatever it was good it's fine <laughs> Well, anyway, we got plenty of uh, breadsticks now, as uh, plenty... Threech pointed out. Plenty of breadsticks. Um, and so, yeah, now Tetra Lee will be making her way over to level 7. Uh, and again, the reason why we have to go get that recorder is, um, it's, as you'll see shortly, it's uh, required to get into 7. So yep, that's correct. Uh, one thing that I'm going to be doing is, as soon as we get to the screen with the lake, I'm going to be looking to see if the Moblin spawns uh, just on the north side of the lake towards the right. And he did. Good. So that's a sign that I have the right spawn pattern, or the spawn pattern that you normally have when doing an any percent room. And that definitely helps uh, make sure it makes the room combat a little bit easier. So yeah, Tetra Lee will be working on just clearing out this room. There's a room bomb here, which will help her proceed. Uh, you do need, I believe, seven bombs to complete this level at minimum. So uh, just because there are a lot of walls, you got, you got to bomb through as you're uh, making your way through the level. So she will still need some more, but there are more opportunities to get some along the way. So and, and definitely a chance for some lucky ones, hopefully, too. Yeah, if you like potassium, you're going to get plenty of bananas here. <laughs> Yeah, making your way. This is known as the River Room again. Uh, uh, any uh, room that has a nickname in this game is pretty uh, 
can be pretty troublesome, but Tetra oh. having no problems. Oh. That dick dogger wanted to block me there. And now we're going to uh, face the um, hungry Gorilla. So the lore in this game is that, well, clearly you have to feed the hungry Gorilla with meat that he wants. But in my head canon, it's actually a vegetarian Gorilla that we're facing. And when you put when you put the bring the meat into the room, they get so offended that they leave in disgust, and that's how you're able to pass through. Even with the expensive meat you bought. Even with the expensive meat. Wow. Free range organic cave meat, no good. <laughs> exactly. Um. So actually, if if uh, one thing Tetra just passed the room with the diamond in it, um, just just to note, I guess there that's where the the, the item. In this level is it's the red candle but since tetra lee already has a candle we don't need it so yeah. and right now she's clearing this room again just for bombs there's a free one in the room so pretty good to go now pretty much so actually let's see if i can mm -hmm. i'll show off a little trick here if you kill one of the three mini dig doggers leave the room and come back uh the game will basically consider them all dead First the game genie and now this Tetrally? Oh dear. Yes, I am playing this exactly the way uh, Shigeru Miyamoto intended Zelda to be played. Backwards, yes. So again, another tricky room known as, again, the, the reverse C, but... Luckily we have arrows. But she has arrows, so we're pretty safe here. Again, this is, it's just an intentionally trolly room. Just imagine, you know, if you get grabbed by a wall master, you get sent back to the beginning of the room, and there's bubbles there which, which prevent you from using your sword. It's just, they're out to get you. They're out to get you. <laughs> it's just a nasty room, so we're just trying to get, get through it as best as we can. Okay, well, that kind of uh, was annoying, but that Take it. knocked me off with the bomb, but... That's okay, because I'm just going to stab three times, and yeah. Aquamentus be gone. Next level down. Um, yeah, there's something about this game, it's kind of funny, The uh, with how difficult some of the rooms in combat could be, some of the bosses are just incredibly quick and easy. <laughs> like, it's very anticlimactic, like, you just, you know, one or two stabs and you're done, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so Tetra's cheating again by doing some shenanigans, but I don't know what she just did. No, uh, she screen scrolled over. Um, <laughs> same premise as before, and right now she's just going to level 6, so... Yeah, I'm not as good doing the left-to-right version of it, but... <laughs> But yeah, knowing the screen schools, it's, it's it's something if, uh, you know, if you're interested in learning this game, it's absolutely not, like, required by any means. Um, you, you will probably have to learn how to do it eventually, but, um, you know, they can absolutely save you a lot of time when it comes to routing and avoiding combat. Let's see. Ooh, lucky bombs. Lucky bombs, let's go. So, uh, six is a little bit of another, it's probably the last, like, kind of major, I would say, hurdle in this category. Um, just because the combat can be a little tricky. Again, you're dealing... It's all whiz robes, basically, in this level, so um, having good bombs and good health is uh, pretty key here. Yep. Um, so, so we're going to come up on a... Oh, sorry, go ahead. going to have a little bit of focus time here. Okay. Handling it very smoothly, though. The Again. bubble got me. <laughs> the bubble's like we uh, said. Zero damage, but infinite insanity. <laughs> yeah, they're the worst. But you're doing great, though, so... Um... Again, it's uh, right now it's just a maze to kind of get out. There's, this room's just going to be full of whiz robes. Well, cool. I was doing great. I did... Part of the... Ooh, that was close. <laughs> That's, this is fine, this is fine. That's fine. That's what the extra potion's for. Just doing uh, the marathon safety strats. And so the nice thing, um, Tetra's able to use the silver arrows here, which are pretty powerful. If she tried stabbing them with the white sword, they would just uh, split into bats or vires, and they wouldn't be able to drop items. So it's it's kind of a nice strategy that Tetra is employing here. Again, another um, fun-filled room called the Magical Breakfast Room this time. It's, uh, Full of pancakes and whiz robes. Magically atrocious. Yep. 
but relatively smooth. Okay. <laughs> Beams, yeah, they are. Uh... Oh, it's something. <laughs> Again, <laughs> fun speed run, but it's there. There are definitely there moments at times where you're just. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I was about yeah. to stab them, but then I remembered, okay, it's my um, arrow that's the four damage item. <laughs> and again, get ready for this tough boss fight. Goma. Oh dear. That's it. <laughs> One arrow to thy. GG's. Yep. The crab slash right. spider is down. Yes. So now I can sort of take a breath of relief since mm. I'm through the... Uh, trickiest parts of the run. So I think now would be a good time uh, for anyone who's managing the channel point redemptions to uh, add that special one that <laughs> I set up ahead of time. We have yeah, a redemption def for some really high amount. I forget. I don't know what it is <laughs> that they set it at. There uh, it is. Oh, it's already been met. <laughs> it's been met. <laughs> oh. Well, that didn't Leggy, take long. Starscream redeemed catnip for kitties. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, let me at least get through level five. Well, sure. But uh, that didn't last long. <laughs> but again, yeah, just a big, big shout out to Tetrally. Uh, she got through the most challenging parts of the category very smoothly. So well done. All Kudos. right, folks, as requested. <laughs> Ready, f ready for this? They're about to go wild. They're gonna get frisky. Hey, Ruby. Ruby, come on. You know what this smells like. <laughs> what is with oh. them? Oh, okay. Well, it seems like Mocha's wanting the catnip more. <laughs> Interesting. Usually, Ruby. they're they're a lot more. Uh... Hey, is Ruby, Ruby even wake? awake? Wake up! Yay! <laughs> There you go. That was worth waking up for, right? Here. Aww. <laughs> They're good cats. <laughs> Thank you very much, Leggy, for uh, redeeming that. Alright, so moving right along. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, that's right, level 5. I'll get out my uh, silver arrows again to uh, make this a little bit easier. Oh, and I do need this key. So at this point, since we already have the recorder, we're just going to be moseying through. Uh, anything interesting to talk about here? I guess I'm a little bit low on arrows, so let me uh, stock up a bit there. Is everything going okay sound-wise? Yep, as far okay, as I can good. tell. Okay, it was just very silent, so I wasn't sure what was... Oh, I'm sorry, I was, I was, mes I I was mes mesmerized by the cats. They're, they're um, going ham. They're going ham right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Okay, very understandable. Okay. So, Dig Dogger just takes one toot on the whistle and four stabs. And we be done. Okay, so moving on to level four. Level four. Yeah, so again, uh, she's Tetrally's pretty much just kind of coasting at this point. The rest of the uh, run isn't too bad. Um, let's see, we got four, three, two, and one. Uh, yeah, again, none of the bosses, nothing hopefully too crazy coming up. So it should be pretty straightforward. She's got a lot of bombs too, so not nothing to worry about there. Yeah, and I don't even really need this extra potion, but um, mm -hmm. it's nice to know it's there. Pretty much. So I guess, um, yeah, maybe, you know, we were talking about it earlier, Tetrally, like what, what uh, kind of inspired you to kind of learn this category and play it? Yeah, so in the first Edge Case Collective Marathon back in um, uh, earlier this year, there was a... Uh, sort of a group of uh, runs 
kind of like a reverse uh, dungeon order, a reverse boss order block. Like, I know Enchantress of Numbers did uh, uh, Zelda 2 reverse boss order, and I think someone did Link to the Past as well. And I said, hmm, I wonder if there's any um, Zelda reverse boss order, or Zelda 1 reverse boss order run. And uh, looked it up, and sure enough, it was uh, it was a fun speed run to learn. So uh, the rest is history, I guess. <laughs> I kind of uh, got Pranzo to learn it, asking him to commentate. <laughs> I was happy to. I was flattered you asked, so it's my pleasure. Aww. Good. Um, I guess also, like, you know, if if someone were interested, if they were watching and interested in learning this game, what resources or tools would you recommend? Yeah, there's a Zelda One um, Discord that you can join, uh, and there's also a practice ROM that you can get that makes practicing a lot easier. It will show you like all of your counts and um, let you basically say, "Hey, I want to go to level dying and give me all of the regular equipment that I would have." Uh, in a late part of the run, so it makes um, learning it a lot easier. Oh, ah, I goofed that up. That's okay. We'll just uh, go around the back way. You didn't see anything, folks. <laughs> so Tetra is waking her way back into uh, level three, where, that, if you remember, that's where we kind of started the run. We got the raft, but we just uh, ducked out right after that. Um, three, uh, three's boss, uh, again, if you've ever seen any Zelda 1 speedruns, it's kind of notorious um, for being a jerk. <laughs> it's called uh, Manhandla. Um, but luckily, uh, even if it goes a little awry, Tetrally has a lot of weapons to potentially deal with the situation, but um, uh, the boss is a little trolly at times, so hopefully we get some uh, good a RNG little here. Trolly? Okay, maybe... Uh, I'm trying to be nice. We're trying to be positive. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, she's already completed the rest level, so it's just straight to the boss, which is in this uh, next room coming up. Yeah, as long as you have the silvers, you're kind of okay. That's the main thing. Yep. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, almost. Ooh. Oh, come on. No! Alright, well, I'll get out my silvers and hopefully... Dude, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> like we were saying, like we were saying, it's... Yeah, never, not... never ever trolly. Never trolly. Never trolly. Next up, level There's two. some heavy sarcasm there. <laughs> okay, and like I said earlier, when I um, uh, was in level eight, I picked up uh, the Triforce here. This lets me warp back uh, quickly, because otherwise there's not really a good quick way to get to the dungeons on the east side of Hyrule. So this is going to let me quickly get into level two. And hopefully I'll be able to get, uh, I don't really need that many bombs here, so it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, again, in this level, it'll just be pretty much just a dash to the boss. There's really nothing needed at this point. Uh, the, uh, the I guess, item in the level is a, is a blue boomerang, which... <laughs> Lol. Uh, <laughs> it's not, uh, it's, it's cool, but not really needed for anything, so... Yeah. Again, and, uh, that's why you... And in a normal run, you would be killing these things to pick up keys, but since we don't really need them at this point, we're just going to bop our way through. And again, uh, speaking of troll bosses, <laughs> oh, we have God. a boss in this level that never trolls either. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> but being able to one-shot these Koreas is awesome. Yeah, you have a uh, troll dongo emote in your uh, <laughs> chat, don't you? Oh my god, the dongo! Oh, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I was I was scared for a second, Tetra. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's it's uh, two, yeah, two bombs. And <laughs> those those first two, uh, he's called troll dongo for a reason. So <laughs> that's uh, marathon luck for you. But um, crisis averted. <laughs> crisis averted, and yeah, it's pretty much uh, smooth sailing. Don't want to talk. Don't want to get too preemptive, but get your GGs somewhat ready. <laughs> it's yeah, uh, pretty free, pretty free from here. Yeah, you never know what could happen in level one with eleven heart containers, a potion, white sword, and silver arrows, <laughs> and a red. Now, ring. now I'm not to judge, but if something does happen, Tetra. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Yeah, get your, sorry, your eeg or eggs. Do we call them eggs? Eggs? Eeg's? Eeg's, <laughs> eeg's ready. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So again, she's just making making her way to the boss right now. So pretty pretty easy peasy. <laughs> no surprise Ganon hugs. <laughs> I would really hope that doesn't happen here. <laughs> I could get wall mastered. That would be fun. You could get yeah. You could get wall mastered. That's fair. So this is the last boss. Three strikes and you're out. And, and that's out. time. That's it. GG's Tetra. Thank you. Um. I tell you what, since we have a little bit of extra time, how about let's actually go back into level nine and rescue the princess. Technically, this isn't part of the speed run. You, you still have a, yeah, you still have a potion, correct? I do, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it'd definitely be good. So yeah, let's do it, let's finish up. Oh, actually, no, I guess there's really nothing to finish. Do the enemies, I forget, do they stay dead after an up A? The bosses or Patras do, but I don't believe the other enemies do. So there probably will be some combat involved, but um, it should be a little lighter compared to the first one. And, yeah. and plus, uh, you know, Tetra, as we mentioned, all the doors are already opened, has yep. a potion so effectively... What was that? Uh, 12... Uh, 48 hearts. <laughs> yeah, I, no th deal. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've got a Kitty Pets Redemption. Do you want to take care of that now? Or reverse Kit Petty... <laughs> kitty... I can't talk. Kitty Pet Order. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sure. Oh, there we go. Uh, I am going to need my other hand back to block clip, though. Oh, dear. Um, there you go. Ooh, it's a cool kitty. <laughs> oh, got a nice damage boost off of the keys there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I do need uh, both hands for this part. But I will make sure to give them plenty of kitty pets uh, as soon <laughs> as we've uh, rescued our princess. <laughs> yeah, it's been... Um... It's been really nice having uh, the cats to keep me company as I do my streaming. Any of you who have watched me before have seen uh, Ruby and Mocha behind me be all cute and stuff. So we're going to have to <laughs> take care of these folks again. Oops. So I think the, the trap room would probably be empty then because the bubbles right i think <laughs> i uh, hope there's bubbles Maybe. in the trap room oh wait no they're not sorry I don't, wait what room am i thinking of i'm sorry ignore me <laughs> i know i I've, don't know <laughs> i've only okay. played this game thousands of times and i still don't remember <laughs> everything in it. <laughs> i'll probably just take the push for uh, insurance sure if i need it luckily oh. since um since damage is reduced, you're able to get a little bit of a warning with the beep before you actually need a push. Unlike when you're just doing a green tunic. But, oh, got a weird spawn pattern that time. They're not making it easy. They're not no, making they it are easy. Not. The game knows, as people have said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the game knows. Absolutely. Okay. That's definitely a weird pirate. And kind of the main thing she has to be careful of here is the uh, the red beams uh, would do one heart of damage at this point with the ring, so she's okay now. All right, let's just take a potion. Let's take the, yeah, take a sip. Everyone, everyone, stay hydrated. You gotta make sure you. <laughs> Speedrunning is very intense. You want to make sure you're staying hydrated, refreshed, <laughs> ready to go. Pretty much. Yeah, since we're um, getting ready to end the marathon for the night, I guess it's going to be a uh, sort of a nice uh, nightcap drink, right? <laughs> or something a little like nightcap. that. Little nightcap. Little posh nightcap. <laughs> Well, this is an all ages stream, so we won't speculate what's in said nightcap, but you can leave that to your imaginations. <laughs> all right, so this. All right, here's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
here is not Ganon. I've actually never seen that before, where it's just like, the room just stays dark. Yeah, it's really uh, kind of creepy and empty, and so you can do all this for swag, and you know, place the bomb there. So, oh, oh no. I get it, but that's all right. <laughs> well, let's get an official GG's out again. Tetra, really great job with the uh, flawless, no death even, um, reverse boss order run. And we ended up getting Zelda in the end, so... <laughs> Rescuing, excuse yeah. me. The real GGs in chat. The real <laughs> GGs. Thank you very much for the GGs, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed the run, and um, thank you all for watching, and thank you, Pronzo, for commentating, and thank you to all the edge cases for, well, I'd say for choosing me, but since we were all chosen at random, uh, thank you, RNG, for uh, inviting me to come uh, uh, run this for you. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Oh, oh, I uh, forgot. We need to do some more kitty pets, right? <laughs> yeah. In fact, since they have a little bit more time, how about a little bit of uh, kitty pets? You Aww. like that, right, Ruby? You like that. Yeah. Aww. I don't know if you can hear uh, Ruby purring on the microphone. I don't know if that actually picks up, but Ruby is purring a lot. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so did whoever redeemed uh, the kitty pets feel they get got their uh, points worth? Hopefully. <laughs> I almost worry that I'm training them too well, that when I'm at a computer and are near a console that they want attention immediately. But they're good cats, so I'm gonna give them a break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mocha immediately stole Ruby's seat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the mocha on, or the mocha, the cat on top here is mocha, uh, and the one who I'm petting right now is Ruby, who's actually a Maine Coon, and just at uh, their latest vet visit, clocked in at uh, over 20 pounds, which is some number of kilograms, but hopefully somebody can help me with the metric conversion. But yeah, b b very much a sturdy cat. A very sturdy cat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, the Ruby is a very good kitty. All right, well, I think that's pretty much all I have for you folks tonight. Um, hope I'm glad you enjoyed the... Um, the run and the cats, and I think um, we can leave it off here. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone.